Yo, YouTube, what's good? Um, we spend one third of our lives sleep. Supposed to sleep eight hours a night, it's 24 hours a day. That's one third of the day in our lives that we spend sleeping. Would God design that up like that for no reason? I don't think he would, me personally. I don't think God would design a life to where we spend that much time doing something and it's not significant. So I looked into this, right? I looked into, um, actually I was watching some videos yesterday about the subconscious mind and you know manifesting what you want to happen in your life. And one of the previous videos I did was about the seed, right? Y'all go check that out if you ain't seen it yet. But in the video, I talked about how, you know, we have these seeds, which are thoughts that um, are used by our mind to manifest, you know, our reality, right? Like, the reality is not helping, happening to us, we're happening to the reality. So, through the research of this, we'll get more into law of attraction, manifestation type topics in a different video. But through the research of doing this, right, I came to the realization that sleep is another method to which we can manifest what we're desiring. Now, are we consciously awake or doing anything while we're asleep? No, but what is awake is our subconscious mind, AKA the sleeping part of the mind, the part that receives the feminine part of the brain, what takes the seed and gives it and produces life. Um, that part never sleeps, that part's always awake. That part's Mother Earth is always spinning, etc. Now, with knowing that, there's a couple things that you can do. You could either, which I feel like I've done a lot in the past, which is affirmations, um, subliminal tapes playing at night. And to be honest, I haven't really noticed like a huge significant difference when I was doing that stuff, right? But the one thing that I did notice that make a difference, and this is what I got from Neville Goddard yesterday, which is put yourself in the desired state. So basically the state that you'll be in if you accomplish all your goals, say you have financial goals, how would you feel if you hit that financial goal? Say you want to live in a certain place or travel, uh, how would it feel if you were waking up in that place or going to sleep in that place or living in that place? How would it feel if you was driving that car, if you was pulling up on your mom to hand her the keys to her new car, whatever it may be, whatever your manifestation, whatever your goal, whatever your desire is. What I want you to do is put yourself in the state of which you will be in if you already accomplished the desire. That's the key. It's not, oh, I'm about to get this or I'm going to get this one day or this is going to happen to me. I already have it now. Thank you, God, for receiving it. And if it's not manifested physically in front of me yet, it's on the way. It's already done. The universe is conspiring to make it happen. That's why, you know, as a fire Kanye quote, which is like, you know, when you act in love and not fear, when you act in fear, it's just you and your money. It's just you and the material world. But when you act with love over fear, then pretty much you have the whole it's like you're a drop in the ocean and the whole ocean's um, fighting for you. It's like the universe. If you have a loving, faith-filled thought, a thought filled with faith, a desire filled with faith, an idea filled with faith, and you plant that into existence, you have every atom in the universe that's pulling that desire for you together. Um, like I said, this ain't gonna be a law of attraction manifestation video breaking down that. But if y'all want to see that, let me know, um, so I can really break down how that system works. But in this video, it's really just about using your sleep and drowsiness state to induce the things that you want. And the reason why it's sleep is because when you go to sleep, your brain waves slow down from an alpha state to. Um, no, actually it slows down from a beta state, which is like reactionary aware. This is where you get beta, um, like somebody acting beta, beta male. This is where you get it from. It's like reactionary fight or flight state to a more alpha, which is calm, flow state, relaxed, to a theta, which is even better than an alpha state. It's more receptive to subliminal cues. 
to all the way down to uh, Delta, which is like your sleep state. Um, now you're really not receiving anything in Delta. That's really where your body is replenishing itself the most. Um, but that theta and alpha state to where you're like kind of in that flow state, but kind of in that drowsy sleep state, that's the golden point for implanting your subconscious with thoughts. And it's more so than just planting your subconscious with positive thoughts. Like you can think positive, oh, I feel great, I feel great, and just like repeat meaningless shit. But the subconscious speaks in feelings. This is why women are so prone to feeling and conscious or the male or the masculine is so prone to thoughts. Um, thoughts are more like a conscious acting behavior, but a feeling is something that you receive based on a cause. So that's how the subconscious works, is it response to feelings. So when you put your state of feeling as if the desired outcome that you have is already done, already happened, and you go to sleep with that state, then while you're sleeping, your whole subconscious and reality is forming around us. Um, there's a ton of different Bible verses. I wish I had one to pull up real quick about the, um, about the sleep state and how God gives to you in your sleep. So I think it's just super important to take sleep serious, you know, never go to sleep with a bad state or an undesired state that you don't want to happen or manifest in your life, um, because it will. You know, that's when a lot of work is being done just because you not aren't consciously doing work or awake doing work. Your subconscious and your body and the energy of the universe is doing work always. And it's always doing the work of that which is planted in your mind, in your subconscious. So hope that didn't go over your head. I hope that makes a lot of sense. Um, the key takeaways here is before you go to sleep, um, when you in that laying in bed 10 minutes, five minutes before you're trying to doze off, go to sleep, think about what you want. Think about your desire. Think about what it would be like if it already happened. Feel those good feelings. You know you're feeling something good when you smile. So smile, laugh, feel that joy. Allow yourself to, to have that energy flow through you and just drift off into that state. Um, You'll wake up in a better mood. You'll have a lot better day. And you'll just start realizing your manifestations start happening a lot faster. Things will just start coming your way. Um, and I'm living proof. Um, I, I intend to continue to be living proof of all the principles and things I'm talking about on this path and journey to become my best version of myself. I hope to inspire and help y'all become the best version of yourself. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and talk about all things self-improvement, entrepreneurship, and I will catch all of y'all in the next one.